good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We gotta go do a watermelon run. We? I. You. <laughs> Water. Well, all your pre-race water is a gigantic, oversized, big blue watermelon. Alright, I wore my my watermelon, though. To support me. Yeah, well, I was told I, well... You registered. I registered for the race. Well, and, really, uh, you could have run, but because we're going right to the doctor after this, yeah, we didn't want you to be, like, sweaty or uncomfortable. to, like, not get super hot and to not jostle my stomach around. At least during the IVF. Afterwards, when the, the baby's yeah. good and stuck, yeah. you're going since running. I've been, <laughs> especially since I've been doing better at cardio. These are the medals that Peter was showing the other day at Truck Shack. They're so nice. And that's the, the four the four medal series. What you got there, Sarah? Some nuts. Some mixed nuts. Some mix. From Sprouts Market over there. And we got all these cool little vendors. Well, a picture sign. We're fairly certain we saw Carrot Top. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to Google a picture of him to see how he looks currently. No, I didn't Google. I Googled if he was from Florida. Oh. Uh, yeah, but we're like 98% certain we just saw Carrot Top because I also saw people taking pictures with him. <laughs> well, then, yeah. <laughs> so we got the start line. Fairly certain that this DJ is the same DJ from the Ryan Disney events who just retired. And I think I see the queen, the watermelon queen. I think the watermelon queen's right there. Oh, she's so cute. She, I thought she'd be in red, but she's in all white. Also, shout out to the mom and son running duo that said hi to us this morning. Yeah, we live locally. Yeah, so glad you said hi. And hopefully, I'll be on the lookout for you. <laughs> I'll be looking for you on the course in the course. I should probably get in the in the crowd. even just for a 5k it's really really nice they have awesome volunteers and event staff okay I think the very first finisher is coming yeah Wow both under 16 minutes. Really? <laughs> so sorry. I just assumed I was like 10 minute mile, so I. Getting our watermelon here. Look at this cute tent. Cute. That's all about. Here, you take the skinnier. Thank you. Mine's, yours is skinnier, but bigger. Mine's shorter but better. Cheers. Cheers. Really good run. Really good event. I think we're going to We're going to hang out for a little bit longer, but we have to go to our doctor's appointment and I have to like clean up. Luckily it's right down the road. So it's like a quarter of a mile. Yeah. So we're only slight goobers. <laughs> we parked like we within the 5k loop. Yeah, we parked in between the start and end line. Not realizing that we did It's like that. we can't I mean, this should probably be open soon. I believe they said you have an hour and that they'll ask you to get out of the sidewalk <laughs> if, you, if you don't make an hour. Oops. 9 or 9.30 or 9.15? 9. Oh gosh. And just like that, we're yeah, back. Yeah. We're back here. Maybe we'll get a trigger shot today. All right, so doctor's visit went well. We did not get a trigger shot, but we got another day of medicine. They're going to email us later. And we don't think we had the placebo. 
So if we do, we're gonna be heartbroken. But we'd be heartbroken <laughs> either way. But we really don't think we have the placebo. We really think we're getting the medicine. Yeah. So hopefully. And it's day seven. It's day seven. So hopefully we'll take medicine tonight. We'll go in tomorrow. And hopefully when we go in tomorrow, we will get the trigger shot. Yeah. And then procedure Sunday maybe. Yeah, that's the plan. And we're back at Mount Market on South. We're back at Market on South because we're gonna go home, edit a vlog. Well, Sarah's gonna edit a vlog. And then we're, we're gonna take a nap, and then we're gonna Epcot tonight. So. I'm so hungry because I also ran a killer run today. Oh. They're all fancy. Yeah, look at stuff. look at all this deliciousness. I was looking at that fruit tart. Ooh! Look, look at, at these cupcakes. Freedom fries down there. Mm. Red, white, and blue sprinkle. Okay, we're gonna show a couple of things we didn't show last time. One, this that, water jug. To this map up here. And Orange Bird. I didn't even look over here last time. <gasps> There's pies. <gasps> Whoa. Sarah's getting our infertility Instagram set up, and I ordered the exact same thing that I got last time. I got a, like a bowl. Of you got a scramble, tofu scramble. Which tofu scramble is like the leading vegan option at Disney resorts and restaurants for their breakfast. Did you know is that? It's the same brand? I don't know if it's the same brand, but it's tofu scramble. There's a lot of other stuff in there too. It's not, it's not mostly it's tofu. But I got a different side. I got something called cheese homies. What do you want? We're going to share. And I got a, a coffee. Okay, so the food just came out. I this bowl. <laughs> Look at the comparison. What? I got a fruit salad. It's like lime and rosemary. I'm rocking two deadly sins right now. <laughs> Josie and Gladney. You're so yummy. It's delicious. I love it. A few moments later. We actually finished this bowl. It took two person team. Yeah. There was um a lot of spinach on the bottom. I ate a lot of it. You I'm very ate proud. Way more than I ever thought you would. I've been doing really well eating my greens. All right, we are good and home. Stopped at the mailbox. Had a little funny, what would you call that? Snail mail. Angry Graham. Yeah. Angry Graham from the good old people of Highway Patrol of the state of Florida because this guy forgot to do his traffic school for that ticket for the accident I got in celebration a couple months back. So I have about three weeks to do that before my license is indefinitely suspended so Sarah's editing and it worked out great because I was gonna take a nap but instead I'm going to take I'm gonna attend online traffic school so that's what I'm gonna do while Sarah edits you gotta check out our friends the Petra says we'll put their their vlog down below but they're daily vloggers out of good old state of Ohio with some of our best friends they're half of swish and flick Harry Potter podcast and uh, this is what I'm sitting through. Even if I answer questions in a section of traffic school, it makes me have to wait 50 minutes for this chapter. That's how it gets by, by saying it's a four hour online class. Peter is in, he wants to run mode. <laughs> I promise eventually we'll come into Epcot in the next like two weeks and not be rushing. To where we need to go. I feel like we've done that the most in the past month yeah. with this park specifically. So it is what 7:30. We need to hit up Club Cool really quick yeah. for Beverly, and we need to get to the American Garden Theater by 8 o'clock for the Special Voices of Liberty Patriotic Celebration concert. I finger at you. And Chelsea and Kristen are here. We gotta find them as well before illumination. Reflections of Earth, followed by a special presentation called I Don't Know, but we're gonna find out. Oh, it's for sure 4th of July. It's a 45 minute wait right now. Stand by for Spaceship Earth at 7 30 p.m. This is like prime dinner time. Get ready soon to go to Illumination time. Why is Spaceship Earth? Oh my god. Two. Overflowing. You better not be trying to get rid of it before they temporarily close. No. 
So we had a little panicked moment the other day when they announced all the dates for Epcot Future World Reimagination closing. Um, we thought that Club Cool was going to be gone forever. But the internet tweeted at Disney and they said that it will be incorporated into the newly imagined Epcot. We're not sad. It'll come back. We're not sad, but we just don't know the timeline. But I'm okay. We don't know the extent of what they'll bring it back into. We're going to bring it back five more. Yeah. If they don't, I'm moving away from Florida. <laughs> but we are really sad that the, the most thing we're sad about is the Fountain of Nations being gone. Yeah, that's a big thing. And then it just hit me today that like, yeah, we're not going to have Electric yeah. Umbrella anymore, which we don't need right. it. But that's where I made magic. That's where Peter worked his Disney College program. So like, we truly won't be able to like... Can't bring our kids there and be like, this is where Peter... That's where he works. Had fried French our kids fries are going to call you Peter. Hours a day. Yeah, I mean, this is where Peter <laughs> deep fried French fries for 12 hours a day. Yeah, so that's sad for us. But it'll be okay. It'll be whatever's there. It's going to be awesome. We're an hour and 20 minutes away, and this is a good park day. We see people camped out, umbrellas out, holding spots, whole families, exhausted faces. That's Disney World, ain't it? But I'd like to point out, I've never seen, and I wish I started counting since the second we walked in, I've never seen this many Old Navy shirts <laughs> in Disney World. It's kind of like, it's kind of like in the summertime when you go to Animal Kingdom and you see all the the Akuna Matata shirts, all the same ones from like Target. Well, today, all about the Old Navy shirts. Oh, this line is building for the eight o'clock. It's gonna be so good. Check this out. They had awesome mix and Voice of Liberty Fourth of July concert today. Oh, I'm actually okay not going as close as possible. I'd rather get center with no obstructions. The, I'm sure their voices are going to carry like the wind. Right. All right, the best concert of mine until life's about to start. And we brought the Chelsea. She brought french fries. Well, actually, Kristen brought the french fries. We think they're Liz's, but we're going to eat them. We're going to meet up with everybody else after the concert. birthday. So join us now on this historic day as we celebrate our independence with some of the great songs of America. And whether you have served or are currently serving in the Army, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, or Marines, we invite you to please stand and be recognized when you hear your song. And for the rest of us, it's our chance to salute them with our applause. The Army's on its way. The outcome was uncertain until the next morning when the sun rose, revealing the old stars and stripes still flying proudly.
inside a park, outside a park, any holiday. That was just one of the most mind-blowing experiences ever. I'd be willing to wake up in Chicago on 4th of July and take like a 2 p.m. flight to get here to get that show every year the rest of my life. We got our spot directly by Odyssey, by the front. Two minutes to show time. <laughs> <laughs> they have these cool projections on Spaceship Earth that have never looked better. Leaving the Epcot parking lot, we've literally moved 10 feet in 20 minutes. Yeah, it's, they're, being, it's just, they're being ruthless. The daily message for the 4th is by our boy Hans Christian Andersen. Just living is not enough. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. And I think that's very fitting for today. And yes, that is Miracle on 34th Street you hear going on. And guess what? It's my happy place. I know I just offended people. I know some people are going to call me out. I'm looking at you, Carolyn. But guess what? Tonight, we're celebrating America and American-made cars. Oh, we're saying? <laughs> and that whole kerfuffle of trying to get out of Epcot? We were leaving and the car in front of us slammed on their brakes. We slammed on our brakes, didn't hit that car, but the car behind us didn't slam on their brakes super hard. So yeah. they hit us and then we then hit the car in front of us. But no one was hurt, no, no one was damage, no nothing. So yeah, we had to deal with that. So we didn't get home until... It took about an hour and a half yeah, from late. when we left Epcot to when we got home. We have a very early appointment tomorrow, 7.45. So Peter gets to come. I get to come even though I have work. Uh, it's early enough where I can go do that and then go to work. Yep, so that's our plan. Going to bed. Well, fingers crossed we get our trigger shot tomorrow. Because that means it's officially, officially true that we did not get placebo. And that means it's officially, officially true that we're doing egg retrieval procedure. Yes, this weekend. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.